Hey everyone, it's Megan from Gingerbread Mama, and tonight I want to talk about traveling with kids. A lot of us, this time of year with the holidays, we're traveling. I was traveling on Wednesday to go get my son, and there are some things that kind of are saving graces for me that I figured I would share with everyone else. Some of these seem kind of straightforward, and I don't want you to think that I think you're dumb. I just, sometimes we forget to plan out the little things. So I figured I would just share a list of five things that help me survive traveling with my kiddos. So I made a list. If you see me looking down, I'm, I'm looking at my list. Um, we'll start with number one. Number one is to leave early. Um, sometimes in our busy schedules we can't do this, but if possible, if you're going on a trip for any length with kids, leave early. You never know what may need to happen that you need to stop where there's traffic or there's an emergency with, you know, somebody has to pee. You, you need to have that extra time. And not only just in case of other things, but if you're not rushing around, you'll be a little calmer and it's a little easier on you if you're not stressed out too. So number one is to leave early. Number two on my list is to bring snacks. Now some people don't allow food in their car. As a parent, I can tell you, food in my car, even though it's messy sometimes, it saves my sanity because without snacks, the whole world would probably explode in my vehicle. Not only for the kids, but for me. Make sure you pack yourself a snack too because hangry is real. And we don't need that in the car on top of crazy traffic and other people being nuts and screaming kids in the back seat. You know, sometimes when you're stuck in a car for a long period of time, food can be an escape. And I know a lot of people say, you know, you shouldn't use food to solve problems. But when you're in a small space, sometimes that's all you can do. Um, number three would be to bring entertainment. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some people, that's a book. Maybe it's a puzzle book or a book for the kiddo to read. Maybe it's a picture book for a smaller kid. Um, maybe it's an iPad. Maybe it's, you know, I take my old phone, my old smartphone, and I loaded movies on it, and I hang it up on the back of the seat for my little girl to watch movies the whole time because otherwise she's screaming, and it drives everyone crazy, and it makes the whole trip more stressful and it's stress on her and it's stress on me and it's stress on her brothers so it's just way easier to be able to play a movie for her and you know some people may say that I'm rotting her brain but it's my kid so it's my choice um whatever works is really you know you don't want them to be stressed out the whole time either it's not fair to them it's not fair to you so make sure that you have some form of entertainment for them even if it's you know, some people pack a survival kit for their car. That's a great idea. Sometimes they include snacks in those too, so that knocks out two spots on my list at the same time. Um, number four is to take breaks. Um, what I mean by that is that sometimes uh, you may need to pee or your kids need to pee. Maybe your small child is freaking out. Sometimes just getting out of the car helps tremendously. Just to be able to get out, stretch your legs. You know, if you've got one in diapers, maybe they need a diaper change. Maybe they just are tired of sitting in the same spot. Even just, even if they're not walking to wherever you're stopping, just getting out of the car and change of scenery kind of helps them. Um, I, my trip to go get my son is an hour and a half in one way, and so it's three hours round trip. We usually, lately, we've been making at least one stop there and one stop back because 
we've got diaper changes that need to be done and she needs a change of scenery, my daughter, and, you know, snacks and drinks and things. So, and, you know, I, I have three kids, so I need pee breaks. Bladder things happen when you've got kids. So definitely take breaks. And the final one on my list, number five, is to breathe. Sometimes it's hard to breathe when you've got kids going crazy in the back seat or you've got traffic around you, especially around the holidays. It's insane. But you need to remember to breathe, even if it's, you know, a reminder on your phone or even just a little sticker on your mirror to remind you, hey, take a breath. It's going to be okay. I know this is stressful for you right now, but it's only for a moment. So if you can just try out some of these things, maybe they'll help you. I know they help us get through our trips. We usually don't go on long trips because of all of the traveling we have to do for my kiddos. But I hope these help you in some way, help you get through the holidays or a summer vacation or anything. And just remember, there's no such thing as a cookie cutter life.